Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So yes, today I am back with yet another haul. I know I've been doing a lot of hauls recently. I've just been getting a lot of new stuff and of course naturally I want to share that with you guys. Today's haul is extremely exciting though because it is a gigantic NYX haul because NYX just finally opened a Canadian website which is like, haul. Oh. It's in Canadian dollars so you don't have to pay the gigantic conversion rate. It's based out of Montreal is where the warehouse is I believe so it's very fast shipping as well. Ordered on Thursday and it got here today which is Tuesday so that is really awesome. Shipping is free on orders of $45 or more and then I think like the most affordable shipping was like $8 I believe like for the most basic level of shipping which if you're Canadian you know the $8 is like nothing on shipping. Yeah I am basically just dying with excitement over this because NYX has been available in Canada for like a really long time at like London Drugs and Rexall and I know Shoppers is just starting to carry them but basically we've never had access to like the full line here and London Drugs is the main place where I've always bought NYX products and they like never update their display like literally last I checked a few weeks ago they still did not even have the contour kit which has been out for like I feel like a year now I also did find a coupon code when ordering it was welcome 25 for 25% off your order yeah let's get into the haul all of these products were a Valentine's Day gift from my boyfriend I just feel the need to mention that so thank you so much James if you are watching this all right so I'm going to kind of go through these items kind of the same way I did my recent drugstore haul which is basically in the order I would apply them on my face. By the way, I will have a drugstore tutorial link down below if you missed it. But starting off, the very first thing I chose was the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. I have never tried this before, so I just opted for the kind of smaller size. They do have like a really large tube as well, kind of like a value size, but like I said, I've never tried it, so I just wanted to kind of test out the waters. This says it is oil-free, and I've always heard really good things about this primer, I feel like, and I've always heard that it's kind of similar to the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. primer. But obviously for a fraction of the price, the Hourglass one is like $60, I think, and I think this was around like $12 somewhere in that kind of ballpark but then the other day Nicole from Young Wild and Polish was like raving about this primer and saying that if you like the uh, Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass and you have oily skin that you need to try this out. I like just got this stuff like an hour ago too so I haven't really played around with it. I tried on some of the products like a white primer. It does feel quite similar to the Hourglass primer so that's nice. I do really enjoy that primer just in case you didn't know. Yeah it feels nice. I'm very interested to try that out. It did really kind of like smooth and blur every kind of little like crack and like pour on my hand so that is really nice. I think I'm really going to enjoy that and it doesn't feel too oily or silicone -y either. And then I got the Invincible Fullest Coverage Foundation. Fullest Coverage obviously sounds like something that would be right up my alley. I picked this up in the shade Light and I think I will probably do a first impressions on this if you guys want to see it because I don't think I've ever seen anyone else review it so be sure to let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you do want to see me test this out and once again if you want to see reviews on like any of these products or more in-depth videos let me know. I want to get more into like cream and liquid contouring and really get better at it so I also picked up a couple actually quite a few like contouring products. First thing is the Conceal Correct and Contour Palette in Light. This is just like a cream contour and color correcting palette so you get some more kind of concealer shades. I don't know if these will be quite light enough for me. They'll probably be okay. They probably just won't be super highlighting. You get like a more salmon-y and yellow corrector, some contouring shades, a little bit of everything there. So I'm excited to experiment with that. And then a brand new product from NYX for highlighting and contouring is these Sculpt and Highlight Face Duos. These are really interesting because I know a lot of people like to buy like a lighter shade and a darker shade in a concealer to liquid contour with basically. And I think NYX is actually the first brand that I've seen actually come out with like a little double-ended duo kind of product for liquid highlighting and contouring like this, which I think is just genius because you just get like the little doe foot applicators to apply them with. It's super easy as opposed to something like this or like another cream contouring palette where you would need like different kinds of brushes and stuff like that. This makes it a little bit easier I feel like. I got this in the shade Taupe Ivory which I believe was just the lightest. The concealer does look a little bit more pink or not the concealer but the highlighting shade does look a little bit more pink than I would go for. Oh, I think that'll work actually but the highlight shade looked the best for my skin tone. It was kind of the most true cool toned taupey kind of shade. The other ones were a little bit warmer. So I'm super excited about that. I love the kind of convenience aspect of it and that it kind of takes away some of the guesswork and there is also like multiple different shades in this. I think there's at least six different duos to choose from. Then I decided to try out the NYX HD concealer. You guys know I just can't pass up a concealer like this. I just have to try them out when I see it. And I bought this in the shade, I cannot see the shade on here, Porcelain, which I think was the lightest once again. Wow, <laughs> that is like super separated as it tipped over like a ton of liquid poured out of it. 
That was really weird. It doesn't appear to be doing it anymore, but that was really weird. I think it must have just been a little bit separated, a little bit odd and like really concerning. I was like, what is happening? And then I just got the NYX HD finishing powder. This is just like the translucent pressed version. They do have like a yellow one and a green one as well, I believe. This is just translucent. And I've heard a lot of people saying they like this for baking and things like that. So that should be interesting because I've been very into baking my under eye concealer lately. And I'm trying to use up some of my face powders right now, but I don't have like a good solid translucent powder because I recently have used up a couple products so I thought it would be fun to try this out. So I did go ahead and end up picking up the big NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette because like I said until now this has basically been absent in Canada and this has very mixed reviews. I know a lot of people really don't like it but then some people really love it as well. You guys know I like to just try out products for myself and for my own opinion on them. That is what it looks like. It is very large and it does have the kind of pop out pants. You can replace them. You can order them online as well for the refills. I feel like this is a really good contour palette for more fair skin because you get like a really nice, really pale vanilla kind of shade and some more lighter options for contouring. I You did use this today, like a couple of the shades, but I don't really... Like, I don't really have a good solid opinion on it yet. I mean, I like them so far. I didn't dislike them at all, but I just can't really say too much about it yet. I also just had to get the brand new Strobe of Genius palette that everyone is talking about recently. I believe this, like, just, just, just came out, and it is a highlighting palette. I never got into the whole strobing thing, like... It is what it is, let's just call it highlighting honestly, but this is a palette of all highlights and you get like a really broad range of different shades in here. I did use a couple of the shades today, I mixed together these two shades here and so far they seem okay. They're definitely a frostier highlight though, like they're not, they don't have glitter or anything like that in them but they're definitely, they're a pretty intense highlight and they're not like super smooth, like there's definitely a lot more smoother, more buttery highlights out there. I think you can definitely make these work though, but I would say if you have rough texture on your cheeks, I would definitely steer clear for these. I don't think you will like them because they will bring attention to texture. Even for me right now, I do have some like dry skin going on on the tops of my cheekbones here for some reason, and it is sitting on them kind of funny. I think it looks okay on camera, but... It's definitely not the most flattering highlights I own, but of course I'm going to keep playing around with it and experimenting with it. I like that you get kind of like three larger, more kind of like traditional highlights, and then you get some more fun shades like this kind of like lavender highlight here. It's really pretty, really nice on like really, really fair porcelain skin. I guess I'll include this before I completely move on from face products. This is the Wonder Pencil, and I bought this in the lightest shade. It's just like a nude traditional like pencil, like liner style pencil. You can use this for multiple different things, but I bought it primarily primarily to use on my waterline because when I am really tired my waterline gets like bright red and that is obviously not cute. So I thought I would try this out because I had my eyes on the Tarte one for a while but it's like always sold out and this one is a lot more affordable obviously so I'm excited to try that. I did choose a couple of brow products as well. I literally bought enough here to do like a full face aside from mascara so maybe I'll do like a one brand tutorial on NYX or something. But I decided to try their, what is this called, just the Micro Brow Pencil. As you can tell, this looks very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which, once again, this is a lot more affordable than that, so I'm hoping I like this. I think this was, once again, around like $12, so definitely a fraction of the price. I haven't even opened this yet, but yeah, really, really similar to the Brow Wiz from the looks of it. Really fine pencil. I bought it in the shade Chocolate. Yeah, super fine. The shade looks like it'll be good for me as well. And then you get the really nice small kind of spoolie on the other end. Spoolie's a little bit larger than the Brow Wiz one. And then I decided to try the Tinted Brow Mascara because I have recently run out of my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. So I just bought this again, once again, in the shade Chocolate, which is a lot lighter than it looked on the website. But yeah, I just needed a new brow gel and I figured while I'm trying out all these other products from NYX, I might as well give this a go. All right, so next, I think this is what is my favorite product so far, which I know I've only had this for like an hour or two, but I think I'm already like in love with this. It's what I used on my eyes today. It is one of the fairly new NYX Avant Pop shadow palettes. This one is in the shade Nouveau Chic. They do have two other ones to choose from as well. I was originally going for the more bright one. I think it's the one with like the bright kind of chartreuse color and then the bright blue. But then I saw this one and I was like, I might as well get this because if you know me, you know that this palette is like right up my alley in terms of the tones and everything. I figured if I'm just trying out the formula, I might as well go for the palette that I'm really going to get a lot of use out of to try it out. And then if I like it, I can end up getting the other two later on if I feel like it. Like I said, I use this on my eyes today. I used kind of these 
five shades here some of the more purpley and like peachy kind of tones and these are such nice quality like the more metallic shades are super buttery that's one of them there it's one of the main colors I have on my lid there's a couple more there they're just like so pigmented really really easy to blend the only thing this is really missing for me is like a light brow bone highlight if your skin tones a little bit lighter you might be able to use this one or a little bit darker I should say you might be able to use this one here but that's a little bit too yellow this shade here was like an amazing transition shade like it's honestly giving my tartlet force of nature shade a run for its money right now because it is like flawless it's gorgeous really nice like I said it's primarily kind of like purpley and kind of peachy tones over here but then you also do get like an olive green and then kind of like a smoky blue kind of color but really interesting I really love the look I did with it today and this is something I know I'm going to be reaching for more and recreating this look and just trying it out a lot more basically I probably should have warned you guys that this video is probably going to be really long because I'm still only like halfway through we just have lip products left though so hopefully that won't take too long so for lip products you guys are going to see a definite theme I definitely have a type when it comes to lip colors lately and that is like nudes and pinks and nudie pigs those are definitely my kind of thing so all of these lip products for the most part are going to kind of fit into that kind of color category I looked at all the other shades and like some of the more like unique and bright shades still do appeal to me but like I have so much lip products and like so much makeup I just figured I should go for the colors that I'm really going to get the most wear out of I picked up three of the relatively new liquid suede liquid lipsticks the first one I chose is called life's a beach and this is like a really really vibrant intense pinky kind of coral shade really fun for summer for sure especially if you have like a bit of a tan then I also got tea and cookies and this one is more of a slightly deeper pink with like a hint of mauve and then this final liquid suede is probably the most unique to all the other shades that I bought for sure it is in the shade sandstorm and it is kind of like a more taupey brown kind of nude I really don't own anything like this and I know it's been like super trendy lately and I'm kind of afraid to try it because I don't know how it's going to look on me I might end up mixing it with different shades and then I picked up three more of the NYX soft matte lip creams I am a big fan of these the first one I chose is the shade Tokyo which is kind of like a brighter, still kind of nude, but more like yellow tone pink. I also got Stockholm, which I believe is a really popular one. And this one is part of what I have on my lips today. I kind of mixed together like a bunch of different things, but this is a slightly more like brown tone pink nude. And then I also got Tokyo, no wait. No, oh, Tokyo was the first one I did. I got Istanbul, which is kind of like right in between those two shades. These smell amazing and I love them. Some people don't really like them because they don't dry quite as matte as other liquid lipsticks. They still remain a little bit slippery on the lips, but I personally really enjoy them. I have quite a good little collection of them going on now. And I got a couple lip products from NYX that I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about before. And these are the Extreme Shine Lip Creams. I got two of them. And on the website, it says they're supposed to be kind of like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid. So like a really creamy pigmented gloss kind of. And I bought the shade Nude Peach Fuzz. I will say that these smell terrible like they just smell completely awful I honestly don't even know how to describe the smell but they do not smell good you guys so nude peach fuzz is right there it's just kind of like a lighter nude I told you guys all of these are like in the same color family and then this one is just called natural and it's just a little bit more neutral and a little bit lighter than that one formula of them seems really nice they are like super super opaque but the smell is just a little bit much so we're gonna see on those I also picked up a couple lip liners just their traditional slim lip pencil these are just like a traditional pencil like I just said they do have retractable liners as well the first one is nude pink which is what I actually have on today and it is swatched there and then I also got rose as well which is kind of the slightly more pink counterpart once again at least one of these lip liners will go with pretty much all of these different shades these are a more dry lip pencil I will say so if you like a really creamy lip liner these probably aren't going to be your favorite but I can definitely tell they are a product that will not budge at all on your lips so if you want like super long wearing products and you don't mind a drier lip liner you'll probably really like those finally I decided to get the NYX eye and lip makeup remover this is just like a dual phase makeup remover it had really good reviews and ratings and stuff so I just thought I would check it out because it was pretty inexpensive so yeah that is everything that I got looking at it all together now that is like 
a lot. I'm sure this video is going to be super long, so thank you guys so much if you stuck with me till the end. Again, as always, if you want to see more in-depth reviews or anything on any of these products, let me know for sure and I will try my very best to film those videos for you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really, really helps me out and of course, if you haven't already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Anyways, like I said, today we are going to be testing out the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation. I'm sure you guys have been seeing this all over the place recently. I haven't personally